Hey everybody, how's it going? This is part two of the cutaway series. In this one, I'm going to attach a timing wheel to one side and I'm going to film the other side. And I'll split screen it, one camera on either side of the cutaway. That way, as I spin the motor around, I want you to see the timing wheel and I want you to see what the piston's doing. So without further ado, number two in the cutaway series, timing. Okay. So here you go, you guys can see the timing wheel. Okay, I have zeroed this timing wheel with my timing stop. Let's see what a timing stop does. It stops it at the same point in both rotations, okay? So here, we turn it one way, 67 and a half degrees. Count your degrees on the wheel, okay? That's 65, 66, 67 and a half. So turn it around 67 and a half. Now spin it the other way. Okay, 67 and a half. You get a bit, little bit of a different perspective on the timing wheel versus what I actually see. But see how it's stopping in the same place? Now you know that your crankshaft is zeroed at bottom dead center. You guys can see bottom dead center. Okay, that's this. But notice there's a few degrees that the crankshaft moves, but the piston doesn't really move. You're timing out that little bit of movement. Now the other way to do it, I have not mastered this. Other people do do it. You can stick a screwdriver. See that? 180 degrees, bottom dead center. This is a saw that I could do this to. You stick it through there. You can use anything you want. Just be careful not to scratch the piston. See? I'm about a half a degree off, says this. But this way, look. Okay, so... That is the other way of zeroing it. Now that you have it zeroed, now that you have it zeroed, I'm going to get you guys up close and personal here, okay? Now that you have it zeroed, look. Can you see the exhaust roof? Zoom in on there, right there. This is the exhaust roof. When we say exhaust roof, we're talking about the highest point of the exhaust. Okay, I'm going to zoom you guys out just a hair. When we shine a light and look for that first ray of light, we're shining it on the angle of the spark plug. Okay, on the angle that the spark plug goes. And what you're looking for is... When you crack the exhaust, that first ray of light, okay, is going to go through here. I'm just going to angle you guys back here a little bit. It's going to go through here, and it's going to go just past the top, and it's going to hit. You'll usually see it somewhere in here, okay, in this area. That's what you're looking for, okay? Let's look for when this exhaust opens, okay? All the way to the top top dead center is right there now we count the degrees of rotation from top dead center okay 10 20 30 40 50 like I said in the last timing video it's usually gonna open somewhere around hundred but it's usually past 100 now this mock-up has no base gasket which means we have lowered the cylinder lower now if you want to lower the timing number of a saw you want to drop the cylinder so when guys are cutting the base they're dropping the cylinder we're going to go into that in another iteration of this video series but so this thing will have a lower exhaust roof than a stock saw because there's no base gasket okay so here's a hundred degrees I'm going to zoom you guys right in
Okay, where does the exhaust roof crack? Right there. See that? Watch the wheel. Right there. So this saw times... Okay, count the numbers. You're at 100 here, 2, 3, 4. This saw times at 104. You would write that down. Okay, do it three times. Right there, 104 degrees. Okay, you write that down. That is your exhaust timing. Now, the way you find your duration, it's pretty simple. You can either do math. I prefer to just look at it, okay? Your exhaust opens at 104. Now what you do is, you, you count on your wheel and you go all the way up until it closes and that is your duration. Okay, does that make sense? So exhaust duration is when the piston opens all the way down to when it closes. Okay, that is the duration of your exhaust being open. Now, let's do something that really a lot of people get confused by transfers okay we you hear saw builders or two-stroke builders in general this applies to all two strokes I'm gonna zoom you back just a little bit okay we talk about transfer blowdown transfer blowdown is the relationship between when the exhaust cracks, which is 104, okay, the exhaust is cracking right now. And when, see the transfer open? Okay, just so you can see it right there. So that is 125, 6, 7, 128 degrees. Okay, so your blowdown is the difference between your exhaust opening and your transfer is opening. 128 minus 104 is 24 degrees of blowdown. Okay, does that make sense? So let's see it further back. So now we have our exhaust timing, 104, our transfer blowdown, 128. I, I typically do not do duration on transfers. If you wanted to know your transfer duration, same thing, okay? Time it from when it opens to when it closes. Now, lastly, I'm gonna lower the camera down here. Let's see if I can get a shot. Okay, there we go. This cutaway's great, isn't it, guys? Um, I'm, I'm enjoying using it. Okay, now your your intake timing is when your piston closes or sorry when your piston opens okay right here okay so we'll say it's right there so this piston skirt clears the intake port at what is it 73 degrees 73 degrees before top dead center okay there's top dead center and here's where our transfers open 73 degrees before top dead center and same thing with duration spin it around until it closes okay so again 73 degrees before top dead center and see how i can recreate this that's how you know that your wheel is zeroed all the way up and all the way down. Count on your timing wheel how far. Okay. How far it opens and closes. That is your duration. Now I'm going to tell you guys something very important. Do not, on a piston ported two stroke, do not have too much duration on your intake side. That will kill your saw. You know why? You'll end up bringing so much air and fuel into here, it will start compressing it too much and it will bleed back into the carburetor. Okay, so be aware of that. Do not add too much timing to your duration.
If you add two degrees to the intake, that's four degrees of duration because it opens sooner and it closes later. Okay. It's going to zoom you back. So let's do this one more time. Now, that is timing in a nutshell. Okay. Top dead center. 104, exhaust opens, exhaust starts coming out here, 128, right there, transfers open, starts filling with a new charge, it hits this side over top of the intake, okay, notice the intake is closed, and then boom, 73 degrees, the intake opens, starts drawing air and fuel in, the minute it starts coming down, it's going to compress that charge, and then your intake closes, okay? Hey guys, I wrote everything down so you guys can see it. Still, 028 Super, no base gasket. I would generally write the squish here. Our exhaust opens at 104 degrees after top dead center. I did it manually by looking at it and counted on the wheel. Quick and dirty math for duration. 104 degrees times 2 equals 208. 360 degrees minus 208 is 152 degrees of duration. Okay, and you can count on the wheel and see if that works out. If this doesn't work out, your wheel is not zeroed. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, normally I just watch it open and watch it close. Intake opens at 73 degrees before top dead center. Okay. I, I counted on the wheel and I also timed this by two. That is my intake duration, 146 degrees. So notice the exhaust is open longer than the intake. Okay. Now... Here's our transfer blowdown. Transfer blowdown, 128 degrees after top dead center. That's where it opens. Our exhaust opens at 104. So this is where it, this happens before this. So take 128, which is where the transfers open, and minus 104. That equals 24 degree blowdown. Okay. Now, when I first started, I used to do all this, and I, and I still do it. So, what happens if our, let's write this down, our exhaust opens, our exhaust opens at, let's say we want to open it sooner, 102 degrees after top dead center. Okay, that will raise the RPM of the saw. Now, what does that do to our duration? That adds 2 degrees. Or, sorry, if I raise the exhaust 2 degrees, it opens sooner and it closes sooner. That adds 4 degrees. Okay, 152 degrees plus 4 is 156 degrees. Okay. I wouldn't go much more on a 50cc saw. You're going to lower your torque curve, okay? So, 156 degrees wouldn't be bad. You might get away with 158. I would not approach 160 on this saw. Intake is the same thing. If we, if we wanted to open it a little bit sooner, okay, maybe it opens at 2 degrees sooner, Maybe it opens 75 degrees before top dead center. Okay, so that would be sooner. Okay, now if we did that, same thing, we'd have to add 2 degrees. This would be 150 degrees, right, because you'd be adding 4. That would be a good number on this saw. I probably wouldn't go farther than that. If you raise this number too high, the carburetor will spit back. Okay, you can, or you can make the saw lazy because you have too much fuel. Okay, 
So there you guys go. There's the numbers on this saw. Exhaust opens 104 after top dead center. Duration is 152 degrees. Intake opens 73 degrees before top dead center for a duration of 146 degrees. Transfer blowdown is at 128. Tra uh, exhaust opens at 104. So again, that eats that equals 24 degrees of blowdown. I would not touch that on this saw. I would leave the transfer height stock. You might want to reshape them if you feel that you're there. But honestly, I would leave that on this saw at 24 degrees. Timing the cutaway. We're getting there. Uh, we're going to do more and more videos using this thing. I think it's an important visual tool. And it makes it easier for me to show you guys what I'm seeing and what I'm looking for in a two-stroke. So there you guys go. Part two of the series. We're going to do more and more. I'm going to keep getting farther and farther into how these things work. Now you guys see timing on a wheel and on a saw. And I, I hope it helps you guys wrap your head around all these terms and numbers and durations and all that kind of stuff. So, as always, thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you guys later.